welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You'll have to forgive me not sound enthusiastic this time around, uh, because my character is supposed to be a representation of me as a person. That's just it. That's just it. I need to stop self-projecting, because this guy's a mobile loser, and I'm the first half man. But still, to, to be showing me uh, cross-dressing, especially as a cat girl, uh, jeez. Anyway. Uh, following Ashley is following the rest of the main bubble crew. Once all on stage, the MC is announced this is the main main group. Oh, jeez. There's all okay out in front of us. I could see a completely packed theater. It's hard to make out specific faces through the strange lights, but I can see the outline of hundreds of people. The rest of the train is just my body and I'll cover it actually. Not again. I'm showing this again. Proper butler. She takes each step with purpose and elegance. She doesn't break character for anything. Not all the cheers in the audience, nor all the people smile and laugh around her. She is Angus and she's only the. She announces this to try to close on three, two, one. Okay, well at least do this. I bring up my fish ready for some fisticuffs. Not that I thought I'd ever say to a martial arts class. Actually, I have in real life. I'm a black belt with a white stripe. Yeah, I'm damn proud of that. But I've seen enough martial arts games to know some basic style. The fish holding their poses for long enough and everyone in the audience to get a good amount of faces out of And once a sufficient amount of snaps have been snapped, MC instructs us to stay on stage, passing out to the microphone for the big fun push draft games and announcement. Thank you everyone! It means so much that you could see that you could join my sister Allison here on Necro Manor. I, as you know we adore cosplaying and we adore Organizing absorbing gals day and nights in the state. However, Alice and I are playing a very extravagant event at a very extravagant location. Go on, Alice, tell them everything. I say, hands the mic to me. Wants to hear the every character is inspired Why? That's right, Angus. Next weekend, we will be hosting a costume contest at the Fancy Arcade Funplex in Twin Pines Mall. It's all part of the fun pack extravagance along with the Fist of Discomfort Tournament, a world record attempt on movie magical maze, and a real, real mysterious game. Oh my, the first time ever public will see it? You know, brother. I should have done that as Hulk Hogan. That would have been funny just to see the sheer juxtaposition. You know it, brother! <laughs> oh well. This is the event to miss. It will be the most noteworthy event of the season. And remember, this is a private affair, so please only tell your closest friends. As the wings the yards before bowing. Another rest of cheers fills the theater. We walk off the stage for a second time. The MCs give the closing words and dismiss the audience. As if people been exiting the auditorium, I feel my phone vibrate in my hidden dress pocket. First of all, I was a couple of vibrations, but I could, before I could realize what happened, my phone starts seizing. What the? Pull my phone up. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please tell me that this ain't on the. gonna be part of the game further, like showing me the complex wall uh, in the game. Please tell me that there's not gonna be any more Kakuro made poses of me. Oh, really? What the hell? The cosplay for kids is part of Aaron Max and Jerry's test. I suppose the article's online. Also, it's being live streamed. Ashley, you forgot to mention that part. You really seem so nervous, and I didn't want to make it worse. Max! Oh, jeez, holy. Oh, man. And that 
like to just see you pour this out for a period of 7 increase on our tray. I should grab up some paid keywords so if anyone posts for cosplay plans, they will see in there for fun for a share of fans. Pretty genius, right? Hopefully, I scan over my own face wall, and even people I, I knew who weren't arcades were taking off and storm about these. What's your cosplay is disgusting as we wait for you to oh, turn to clear your hat. Can't wait till next weekend to run and fuck fresh fresh hands and things. It sounds like a blast. Alright, at least this game sounds good from all these. Oh, Taco Rando. Rando, really? I totally go to that fun fresh place. Hmm, I do want to wear my own cosplay. Poppy did it. I have lots of help from you too, actually. Don't cut yourself out. You make a pretty great team. It's great to hear all the buzz around the cosplay community. And, and I was just really helping with the social media aspect, even though I hate the fact that I've had to play a main character. Ah, jeez. Can't believe this was easy. I mean, time, but easy. Great fun. That was that would be great fun to cosplay. Oh jeez, that's right. Anyway. Me too. I need a break from all this. Sometimes I push my thoughts from my spines from all those flesh and white. I still see the spots. Did you hear me get an eye on me? I'm playing a pop up arcade from the fun place. Once in a other hall. Once in a while, arcades enjoy the scene over in Hall Bravo. Bravo is the military place to swing B. It might be worth stop by there for brief with my friends and make sure they're slacking. Sounds like a solid plan. You want to come with me? Not quite yet. I need you to do some tests up for my makeup. How about to meet you later later? Great, see you soon. When we find out soon, I'm going to my way towards the best to get changed back to my usual clothes for the time being. For the time being! Uh, please don't tell me I'm going to do that again. And it's off to us in the whole B on the uh, Bravo military place. So on the lookout for Gavin's serious face, now he's kind of. Let's see, Exhibit Hall Bravo. It very much resembles Exhibit Hall Alpha, which is where I start my day. Industry types, dealers, swag, crowns, crowns. But there's more actual arcade games here, as local places have set up pop up arcades all over the place. It's hard to notice the small display, giant garish deco palace displaying up the set. But I managed to crawl my way around the edge to find. Well, well now, pretty much everyone in the crew, save for 318. Hey, on Ashley is still hanging out with your respective communities. Got some time, maybe I can bet someone's here meanwhile. Let's see, what's everybody doing right now? Okay. <laughs> Bored out of his mind. <laughs> I was totally fresh with my chashes off the game. Partially moves you because you can take a week. Definitely that close, and that can be prepared. Why am I getting nothing at all? That can't be good. Uh, hey, Naomi? <coughs> oh, Bob! Sorry, it's wrapped up in my own real world there. What's up? I'm taking a break. As of now, you're on break as well. That's sweet, but I really can't. You're going nowhere with that game. Take a break. Consider it in order. I guess I'm on break then. Cool, cool. You want to get away from the crowd for a bit? Find a quiet corner, hang out, decompress a bit? Absolutely. I can busy myself with games, but uh, I hate the crowd. Always have. Every year I go to the max. Finally, he reaches out and grabs my hand before I can check and drag himself to the same quiet little niche between two spray goose. Look for a private conversation. 
Okay, now we're broken games, still trying strangers, but honestly, I love my retro games, but I wish they break down less often. All this 1980s tech is fun to play with. This is when it's downtime and source profits. Okay, so I gotta know, why the fixation on retro games? I'm not saying they are cool, indeed, Undertale was awesome. And uh, that, that was the very first thing I did play through, so I wasn't playing through Blind Dog. I had uh, actually seen that from a bunch of guys who called themselves Team Hotel. It's a military fraction, Team H, who f had first done uh, Hot of a Boyfriend games, hence Team H. H for Hot of It's just that's something that folks at an age you usually into, right? I can't test that post by 20 something to a classic game collector sites, but you're really asking why I'm into this stuff. And hey, what's not the love? Cool, cool, cool glow of a cathode ray tube, blooming color through the scar lines, simple clean pixel art style, one stick, a few buttons, easy to learn, hard to master. You can keep your safe, your crazy network real time strategy, BMF esports. Fighter thingies. Give me a maser spaceship a bunch of dots any day. Or Princess to Rescue, Tills to Jump On. Mario, the very first big time thing. It's the best my knowledge. Right, well, jumping on. More than the jumping and the rescuing. Not enough games of princesses rescuing princesses. Or cats. Or anything really. So, I'd get start with retro games. But I know the PC answers, I had an older brother who introduced me to games, but that's basically the truth, sort of, indirectly, I guess. For a whole summer, my jerky brother was in charge of babysitting me, and being a teenager, he didn't want to bother. He wanted to go to the arcade and hang with his friends. So, he dragged little of me with him to the arcade, he gave me a fistful of tokens and told me to keep myself busy. First, I played what all kids play ticket games, prize games. But I got bored with fast, realized I couldn't play much of anything. Honestly, kids are smart, right? They gotta realize they're being scammed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, they're... yeah, I'm about to say, but I wanna stay on her roof. Some games are more obvious than that scam than others. What games were you playing back then? I kept going from game to game trying to find one actually fun and I never did. I guess I lucky I cooled in quickly that it was pointless. Rather, it was a pointless token thing. Plus, well, there was another problem with the ticket game and I just wanted to see something okay right yet. Too many kids, just Way too many kids I didn't know from school that I didn't go to. I'm just gonna see what happens if I go back to that point and use a different choice. Don't be so hard on kids. I've worked for, I've worked for, for weeks. I've seen how fixed here kid can get on to find some plushie. When you made up your mind and already spent piles of tokens, well, you gotta keep going. Otherwise, the FTM meal wasn't worth it. Yeah, why didn't I just go with my gut? Okay, I, I'm gonna go with my gut for now. Yeah, it's cool. The sun costs fallacy. I wish I could tell them. <clears throat> I wish I could just give those kids the toy they want. Or I don't know, so no big them would allow that. Plus, well, there was another, one other problem with the ticket came area. Too many kids, just way too many kids I didn't know from schools I didn't go to. I was too timid to ask someone to leave a game I wanted to play, or even hover around them where they might talk to me. I'm not really good with strangers, huge crowds of them. Once I get to know someone, well, they're not a stranger. That's different. Indeed, as an old Irish proverb goes, strangers are friends you haven't met yet. Like you! 
I got to know you quickly enough. So most of them like they won quickly too. But there was one area of the arcade which had next to nobody playing games where I didn't need to put a cord up with mine. Everything was fun. Retro games. Exactly. Only a few older guys back there. Play anything I wanted. Every game was a single token. It was all so amazingly cool and classy and colorful. And oh, it was paradise. These games were my new best friends. Now I looked forward to my Jacob brother banning me in the arcade to go play fighting games. Eventually, some vacation then that went back to school, but I kept using arcades, especially ones with good retro collections. So, that's how I got into classic arcade games. <laughs> okay, man, well, I'm gonna see if you can anyway, just in case. This is a take, I think, on uh, that one sketch with, um, what's his name, Christopher Walken. A cowbell sketch from Saturday Night Live, which he says, I got fever, and the old prescription is for cowbell. So I'm thinking that's what this is. <laughs> I like that. That's, uh, yeah. Alright. Somebody called doctor. This girl's got Pac-Man fever. Sadly, it's an incurable condition. Oh, I bought that album. Buckner, Buckner and Garcia. Amazing stuff. It's got all sorts of of songs on it about Donkey Kong, Centipede, Frogger. The bottom of my copy if you want. Get a little vinyl and tape. I like any hardware sort of sort of play to listen to you. <laughs> really? Vinyl's so much better than MP3. I personally beg to differ. I Vinyl it has a cool sound at times, but he is stuck on loops and also it um it's not portable, they got beat three more. Ladies and gentlemen, the Anonymous Fairchild hipster could fit you into your pocket. What? I know it's a little weird for not even being interested in newer games. It's not like new games are universally awful. But I like what I like. I love what I love. I do what I love for a living. How cool is that? As long as the fun place stays open and it keeps the treasure sphere bright, I'll be happy. Well, event manager Bob and I will see to it that we keep our doors open. That's why I'm here at Max to make this event the big deal it deserves to be. Thanks so much for good that. I'm not good at this meet and greet stuff. I think we should both get back to what we do best. For the glory of the fun place. For the glory of the fun place. Two of us make our way back to the meet fun place. Her, her to. Who'd resume taking me to me catch up with Tail and Ashley again? That's got me in this particular chapter, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't want to film, please consider subscribing. I will see you back very well.